Shaking from the cold in the lamplight Of a thousand houses you fell from my sight And I need you to be I've been playing guitar I guess, and playing in bands since I was 13, secondary school, that sort of thing, and playing with, with mates and doing battle and bands and things like that at school, but only really focusing on my solo stuff since what, about 2010. I've played with a, a few other bands and been guitarists and had the chance to go and play in Europe and, and, and tour up and down the UK, which was great fun, and it gave me a real taste for wanting to do it myself. And I put out uh, an EP called The Mind Canary in 2010, um, when I was living in Cardiff, and that's through a friend of ours, Rich Chitty, has a label called Bubble Rap Collective, which is who I'm signed to, and who we've just put out the newest album, which is Second Guessing. Oh, well, I was born in Norwich and okay, cool. grew up in Australia for a little bit, and then moved to Cornwall, and then moved to Cardiff, and then moved to Bristol. Um, I think the thing that I like most about Bristol is the, the variety of scenes that we have here and what it's able to support. I mean, there's. Um, I mean, I've been mainly just gigging in, in open mics and then playing in places like the Left Bank up in Stokescroft. I did a did one at Louisiana, but I like it's just very friendly. Everyone seems really open to, to helping people out, and there's a good community feel to it. All the things you really look for in a good music scene. There's plenty of places to rehearse, there's plenty of open mics, and you've got people that come to gigs. You know, there's always a good audience, and people are receptive, and people buy records, and yeah. it's yeah, it's just it's really welcoming. the album launch um, for Second Guessing at the Canteen and um, we did that with my friend's band Little Arrow who were uh, also on our label and uh, they were, that was a brilliant night but my favourite gig ever. Um, it's difficult to say, it's usually just the, the last one I did. <laughs> yeah. so, as of tonight it'll be this one. But I'd always kind of written songs as a sort of cliche dance but a cathartic thing. I mean the genre that I do is could call it confessional, so that's when it strikes me that I need to get something off my chest, really, if that makes sense. Um, so it was just something I did for that, but pushing forward, we've decided, I've decided that I need to put a lot more work into it and do a lot more gigs, really. Um, so yeah, just making records, doing as many gigs as possible, and just enjoying it. Really. The Mind Canary EP I put out, that was really all of the songs that were based on a, on a relationship at that point. And then second guessing, it's not been so much about that. I tried to, to, I never really sit down and try and write songs about things. It's, it's a difficult thing to do, but a lot of them are to do with relationships. And this latest batch um, is, is about a relationship. I mean, at the moment, a long distance relationship, in fact, and I haven't seen my partner for over four or five months, which suddenly has led to a lot of songs being written. Up on him and take him away. More is too late to take another day. There's more is too lazy to take another day. I've always just used this real basic sort of multi tracker to get stuff done, but I'm quite lucky in that my bass player, who regrettably they're not playing with me tonight, but he's uh, he's a sound tech whiz. I mean, he's, he's really good with it. He's got all his nice equipment and microphones and things, so I'm quite lucky to be able to just go around to them and, and be able to record with them. But it's, it's so nice to be able to, for example, we're we've finished this second guessing record but we're already writing a second one. We managed to record eight songs in two days and with that kind of equipment it's it's just a real joy to be able to do it. Just walk in and sit down and do it straight away and then for me to be able to go away for a bit and then and leave it in the capable hands of the yeah. yeah, it's, it's a useful thing. So there was a, a song on uh, second guessing called Lazy Day and um, we put it up on SoundCloud and it got put onto Folk Radio UK this website and within a couple of days it had over like 10,000 plays which is the most attention I've ever had for a song but it just it blew the server that Rich had for his SoundCloud and had to <laughs> update it because too many people were listening and trying to download it and it's just remarkable and you have 
like the statistics you can look at and you can see where everyone's listened to it. And there's over 150 countries that people are listening to it. And that was that was really nice, yeah, to, to think that people are enamored about the chance to get the music to in the first place unless I've gone out there and played and can listen to it. So yeah, really real boom. Real boom.